hey good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time you are deciding to watch this so thankful for you to just even stop on my channel in the midst of just the hardships that's happening currently around this country around this world regarding this COVID-19 affecting every asset of everyone um, me I work as a nurse so even in the fact that I um, how I treat my patients we have to go through extra precautions and that takes even longer to even get to the next patient and um, you know I've also been called off because of the census is low um, and then there are others out there who have completely lost their jobs and um, there are others out there who have lost family members and um, just just it can go on and on and um, Sincerely, so thankful for you to even stop by here. So I just pray that even though this message will be short because I have to go to work right now, <laughs> um, I pray that this encourages you. So um, our focus scripture this morning is going to be Psalm 119, 105, or skipping. Um, I don't know if a few of you guys got the memo already, but I'm deciding to just go with the flow of God <laughs> when it comes to uh, these videos, okay? All right. Um, so anyway, Psalm 19, verse 105, we'll read a little further down, but 105 is our focus. It says here, thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and I, ha I will confirm it that I will keep thy ordinances, thy righteous ordinances. I am exceedingly afflicted. Revive me, O Lord, according to thy word. Oh, accept the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me thine ordinances my life is continually in my hand yet i do not forget thy law the wicked have laid a snare for me and yet i have not gone astray from thy precepts i have inherited the testimonies forever for they are the joy of my heart i have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes forever even to the end so when we are looking at this entire block of scripture here um the focus really is on keeping the law of God, keeping God's word. And I'm not here to preach to you guys, um, you know, you have to be super religious and the only way God's going to accept you is if you obey his commandments. That's not true. Faith is what will uh, get you into the kingdom, no matter what. It's faith, true, authentic faith, okay, um, in his son, Jesus Christ, okay. Um, regardless of where you're at um, in your journey with him, even if you are backslidden, if you have faith in your heart, you are his, okay? However, um, his law, his statutes, his ordinances will release his favor over your life. Um, it won't release the attacks from the wicked one when you are operating as a child of god you will you are always up for attack because you are on the wicked one's territory this world here that we are on this earth belongs to lucifer and um you you as a child of god you are always going to be subject to attack especially when you are operating in your calling okay that's why prayer is a big deal especially corporate prayer which is something that the forces of the wicked one have uh tried to eliminate from us actually as you're seeing it in our world today however going back to our focus here thy word is a lamp to my feet and light to my path my friends if you take the time to just one-on-one -on -one get before your god and say lord god i want you please teach me how to live for you teach me how to obey your commandments teach me um he will put in your heart you guys more convictions okay his convictions will become a little bit more stronger because when you are in his kingdom his law is already in your heart okay you just gotta start learning how to discern his voice and discern when convictions are when and all of that okay you just gotta allow you gotta give room for the holy spirit his holy spirit in you to work but what I've noticed here is whenever we decide to take a step of faith in accordance to God's law, okay, whenever we are obedient to him and we act on obedience, it's like once we act on his word, it's like I want you guys to picture a path, okay? 
And on this path, this narrow path, um, and it's a stairwell, let's say that, you have this narrow staircase. Now, each step represents God's commandment, okay? It represents God's direction. It represents God's uh, ordinances, okay? And in order to get on that step, it takes an act, right? You are literally, it's, it takes an action. So it takes movement from you personally. And it takes trust that that next step is going to hold you up, right? Well, consider it this way. When God is telling you to do something, okay, whether it be from his law, you always start in this law, which is the Bible, right? You always start there, but then God is going to, in your journey, challenge your faith and tell you to do other things. And uh, here is how he works. If you trust him, then you will take that next step of faith and then it will lead to another uh, step of um, blessings, which means another step of direction on what else you need to do. But if you stay on that one step, you guys, if you stay on that step, you are not going to see any type of movement from God. <laughs> You're not. You're going to be stuck there. Okay, this is a this is a faith journey, step by step. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Okay, um, maybe I can illustrate that a little bit better in another video. But I hope you guys get the gist of it. I do have to go now, so um, you guys don't forget to look for the good in your day today. Okay. No matter what, don't forget to look for the good because there is always good. It's just the enemy will try to have you focus on the bad, okay? Which implants more uh, destructive seeds within your own heart. And it can change the course of your life, the course of the direction of your life. So do not forget to look for the good in your day today. Okay, let's go ahead and pray. And then um, the last half of the video or last two, three minutes, you guys, I would encourage you to just take that time and be, be alone with your God. Okay, no distractions. Okay, all right. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, just lifting you up and honoring you, O oh God, glorifying you and your Son, Jesus Christ, for being the lamp onto our feet and the light onto our path, O oh God. Father, myself and every soul that is watching, Father, we just approach your throne of grace and ask you to teach us even more on what it means to follow you and, and what, what step we need to take, Father God. May you just tell us personally, Father, um, another, another step of the direction that you want us to go into, Father God. And may you give us the courage and um, the boldness to even obey, Father. Increase our trust in you, Lord, so we can obey. Heavenly Father, I pray protection over every soul that is watching this video right now. Please protect them from this COVID-19 virus, oh God. I ask you to protect their vessel, protect their body, oh God. In Jesus Christ's holy name I pray, the risen Savior's name, amen.